Hey everyone, welcome to the Code Monkeys View Press series. Alright everyone, so to start with, we're just going to be doing a quick tour of the ViewPress website. So, ViewPress is a view-powered static site generator. We'll be discussing what a static site generator is in more detail in a future video. Um, but to start, we'll just do a quick tour of the website. So, up here you can see, and let me just move myself out of the way. Um, up here you can see that you have a guide, so they give you a guide to just kind of get you up and running with it and then they give you some more advanced features down here and you also have a config reference so when you go to set options in your config file you can refer to this reference to to see what options you can set and then you can also uh, install different plugins so there's plugins that are officially supported by viewpress and then there's also plugins made by the community that you can install as well and uh, you can configure these plugins and set different options for them. And they will basically allow you to just get some, some nice feature into your blog. And basically all you're going to have to do is just install the plugin and set some options. And you also have the option of using a theme in ViewPress. So ViewPress comes with a default theme, which is the theme that you see here. And then you also have the option of writing your own theme or you could even install someone else's theme and use their theme if you prefer to do that. And here's some more stuff that you can learn about. You have the API, ways to contribute, um, different resources down here. Now this is version one of ViewPress and that's what we'll be building our website with, but there's also a version zero, an older version and version two. So at the time of this video, version two is still in beta. Um, and the plan is at some point to migrate over to version 2, but we'll see when that happens. So if you want to follow along with this series, it's probably easiest to just stick with version 1. And you can also check out the ViewPress GitHub right over there. So throughout this series, if you have um, any questions or anything, or you want to make any comments, just throw them down in the, the description below and you can check out the different resources that we're going to be talking about in this video and just different uh, resources in general for the channel will be down there. So you can just check them out and join the, uh, the community as well. So this is what we're going to be building is the Code Monkeys blog. And here is the homepage for the blog. And you can see here that we just have this card right here with our, uh, our logo right here title and then some taglines and down here we have a footer uh, for different links so you got github youtube and some other links down here and up here you have a search bar so if we wanted to search for upress you could search for things that are on the blog that have a title of viewpress and it'll return it up here and we also have a topics page. So here would be all the different topics that I've, uh, that I've made posts on. And then we also have our posts. So this would be all of the posts right here. So if you wanted to, to go through all the posts, you could go through here, you can paginate through them. Uh, another thing that you probably notice is there's a nice little back to top feature right there so I'll just scroll you right back up to the top and that's a plugin provided by ViewPress and then we'll have our posts filtered by topics so we can go to the lead code topics so these would be all of the lead code posts and we also have a resources page and as you can see here it's not really much on it but hopefully as we go through this series and as I continue to develop the blog uh, we'll populate this page with something at, at some point. And then we also have the, uh, the donates page. So if we wanted to support the channel, you could come here and donate, but you have, uh, we have different crypto addresses here that you could donate to and uh, ways to donate with fiat as well. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look at some more interesting stuff, which is let's go to this reverse string blog post that I made. So over here, you see that we'll have a sidebar. So the sidebar is nice because you could just jump to different parts. So if you wanted to jump to a problem description, you just click that and jump to that. Um, and you can see here that we've also embedded a YouTube video. 
So, hey everyone, in this video, we're so that's a YouTube video that I made for the reverse string problem, and we'll go over how to embed the videos into the posts. And you can also see here that we have some nice um, math uh, formatting right here, and this is from a ViewPress plugin called MathJax. So this will allow you to, to format math really nicely in your post. And we can just continue to scroll down through the post here. And then you can see that I have this, uh, this way to, to edit and run code in the blog post. So this uses um, uh, CodeFence. And you can just edit this code up here. So you know you could just backspace that out, but we'll just leave that in. So then we can come down here and run the code. And there you go, there's the output. So this is just nice to let people kind of, you know, demo on your blog, um, you know, small little problems like this or, or anything else that they would want to, to just run, you know, just some, just some quick code on. Uh, and down here is just a way to comment. So if anyone wanted to leave a comment on this particular blog post, they could do it. And then we also have pagination here. So this will paginate through all of our posts uh, all of our leak code posts here because remember we're in the uh, we're in the leak code topic right here. So this would just um, paginate through our leak code posts and then I also want to show you the uh, we'll just look at um, this few press tutorial eight post. so we'll be making a video for this. In the future and we'll be going over the content in this but just real quick you can see that you also have the option to just kind of put code in there and people can just copy the code and we also have uh you know you can highlight different aspects of it and we also can add little tips and stuff to the uh to the blog posts as well so you know this is this is a lot of uh of what we're going to be developing throughout this series we're going to be going over this in more detail and you know to start though we're going to be looking at the the first post in the viewpress series so let's go right down over here and this is viewpress tutorial one the introduction so this is what we're going to be developing <clears throat> is the code monkeys blog like i talked about and then we just did a quick tour of it, but you know, be sure to just go around the website yourself and take a look at it. And uh, so this is some reasons why you would want to create a blog. So some of the benefits are is that you get to learn how to create a website, you get to improve your web development skills and your writing ability, you get to document your different thoughts and ideas, and then you can help others learn and meet new people, you know, join different communities and stuff. Uh, you can build your online brand and could potentially become a source of independent income for you and you can show it to employers um, if you're looking to get hired as a software developer so you know this will this is like a list of stuff that we're going to be covering so the installation directory structure configuration asset handling markdown extensions how to use view and markdown um, how to deploy it specifically we're going to be using github pages to deploy it uh, different front matter different plugins so you know, we're using the ViewPress blog plugin here and the MathJax uh, plugin, like I uh, mentioned earlier, and then that code copy plugin. So when we copied that code earlier, that was using this plugin right here. And then we'll be going over a bunch of other plugins as well. And then we're also going to be going over just some more general web development topics and tools and things like favicon, scalable vector graphics, um, images, things like compression, lazy loading. Uh, how to embed videos like you saw with that YouTube video, responsive design, um, different color schemes, different gradients, um, that embeddable interactive code editor that we saw in that leak code post, which is made by CodeFence, so how we can incorporate that in, and some OAuth apps specifically for GitHub, and that will be how we incorporate those comments, and a bunch of other stuff. So. To start with, it's going to be nice to know some HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some Vue, and some Markdown. Um, it's good to have you know a good grasp of that before we get started. Um, but if you don't 
I'm going to try to explain everything in sufficient enough detail to where you can kind of understand it. Um, or you could just kind of just take it for what it is and then just, you know, just kind of set it and forget it, hopefully. Um, but I'll, like I said, I'll try to describe things in a lot of detail. Um, but it is good to have, have a solid grasp of all of that stuff. So this will basically be how we want to use these tutorials. So if you want to recreate this blog or a very similar blog, then you can simply just follow along with these tutorials in order. Um, each tutorial, the goal is to give you some general information about a ViewPress topic and to provide some helpful resources. So then we're going to apply what we've learned to the blog as an example. And then this way you don't necessarily have to follow the tutorials in a linear order. Say if you don't want to build the blog exactly as we have it here, you could just kind of take that ViewPress topic and then apply it to your own website. And so yeah you'll just be able to just hopefully be able to take a view press topic and then to just put it into your site so you know like you saw with that resources page the uh the code monkeys blog it's not a finished product it still has more work to be done and uh, i'm going to be continuing to develop it as i make this series so this means that new features will be added and the current code is going to be optimized and refactored as needed um so whenever I update something, I'm going to try to, you know, make a new post about it, make a new video about it, and then, you know, potentially update an older post. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And as I mentioned before, we're currently using ViewPress 1. And, you know, ViewPress 2 is still in beta when I wrote this post and when I made this video. Um, you know, and then the plan is, is to eventually to migrate over. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. And now each tutorial with code, so this tutorial doesn't have any code, so it's not going to have a, uh, a branch on this CodeMonkeys blog repository. So here's the repository over here. So you can see over here that if you come over here, you can get these different tutorials. So tutorial three is the first one that starts with code. And then you can just kind of go to a tutorial. And then you could... You know, you could clone the repo and then just check out these different branches. Um, you could download the code as well if you wanted to do that. So this will be how you can kind of get a snapshot of each tutorial. So the blog, um, as it's being developed, what it looked like at that particular tutorial. Um, now, again, you know, this some of these tutorials may get updated uh, in case, you know, if we find that there's an issue in, in one of them or something maybe we'll we'll do an update to it or if we want to explain something a little bit better or or optimize the code a little bit we might do an update to it but generally you know the the goal is once these lessons are set that they they're kind of set but if they ever get updated then you can just pull down the changes um, so those are the tutorials there and then you can also check out the the repo for the blog so this is the repo for the blog if you just wanted to grab the blog right now as it is you could come here you could clone the repo you could download it um and then you would just have have this version of the blog as it is right here uh, so that's another option that you have and let's see here if there's any links or anything i think i think we're pretty good there um you know but be sure to just check out the links in in this post as well if you're interested and checking out any of this stuff right now so that's a quick overview of the blog and kind of what we'll be building and how we're gonna how we're gonna go through this series um, so in the next video we can go to ViewPress tutorial 2 we're gonna see why we want to use ViewPress in the first place okay now uh, that pretty much sums up what I wanted to discuss in this video, so be sure to subscribe, comment, like, share this video, and then you can check out the links in the description in the video and the, the, the links in the post right here. Um, there'll be links to the different resources um, for ViewPress, and then we're going to have links for the GitHub as well um, for the tutorials and for the blog and you can check out different ways to uh, join the community uh, with social media and be sure to ask questions 
and there'll also be ways to donate in the description down below as well and on the blog like you saw so thanks everyone for watching and we will see you in the next video